everybody welcome back to my channel um i just got out of care now but they told me that i don't have anything <laughs> from my symptoms okay whatever <laughs> so i guess that's good news um i have to go I, I need to do some grocery shopping and for the week and i need to I was gonna have the kids do their Father's Day craft. I bought, but I bought this, the crafts not very long ago, or a while ago, and now I can't find the stuff for them to do the crafts. So I either need to find the stuff or have them do something else or go buy some more stuff. I don't know, so I need to figure that out. And I need to buy my dad something. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. But, yeah, I'm not really sure what, I, I said on every vlog, I don't know what I'm going to do in the today, but I never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh yeah, and my hair looks like this because I didn't have time to straighten it because, care now, you wait at home. I had time to do all my makeup except my lips. <laughs> and I didn't have time to straighten my hair, so I just ran out of the house. I told him I'd be there in five minutes. <laughs> All right, good morning, it's the next day. Again, sorry for my parents. <laughs> I think I say that in like every single video. Sorry for my parents. Uh, but um, yes, it's the next day, the morning. I haven't even gotten out of my PJs and a lot has happened. But um, yesterday I was gonna, in my vlog, I was going to, um, I had left care now. I went to the Dollar Tree and then Kroger and then I was going to do put those in a haul and that was going to be my video but I'm just going to put that all in this video so after I left there the care now I went and picked up uh, Jane's and we like I just said I went to Dollar Tree and then Kroger and then I dropped off all the cold stuff at the house and then because it was like a hundred degrees outside but about that time it was it was dark so it was probably high 90s and so story time with Megan here um so if you're here for the hauls <laughs> hold on we'll get to that um and then we went to Sonic for um to pick up dinner because it was it was late at that time so I was like I'm not cooking <laughs> Once we got we got there, we ordered Sonic, and we ordered quite a bit of food, and everybody around us was, I guess, just ordering, like, desserts cause, and drinks, and so James was like, why is ours taking so long? I was like, well, I don't know. Ours just should be here any minute. So I turned on the radio. Um, I turned on the car and then turned on the radio because I just had the windows down. I'm trying to think, did I have the car kind of running? Cause it was so hot to turn on the air. I don't think I did. I think I just had the car off of the windows down. So I didn't think it was going to be taking as long as it was. <laughs> anyway. So I had the car running. I don't even think five minutes. Probably a couple of minutes. And then the radio just shut off. And I was like, oh no. I knew exactly what that meant. I was like, oh no. I think the battery just died <laughs> and I was like oh gosh so I rolled down the window the window still rolled down because I was like well we're at Sonic so they're gonna have to put the food through the window <laughs> um so thankfully that happened then I called David and I was and I, well I tried to start the car and the um, car didn't start of course and I was like David I'm the car or guess what and he was like what and I said the car won't start. He's like, what do you mean? I said, is that what I meant? The car won't start. I think the battery's dead. And he was just like, 
well, I can't do anything for you because at the point right now we don't we only have one car because when if you haven't seen our other video, the hailstorm, um, well I think it was under a tornado, but it ended up being a really bad hailstorm. Um, well, there was a tornado, but it didn't hit our house or anything. But we hit, got a hit, really bad hailstorm, and David was driving through it, and it totaled our other car. Well, actually, this one car got totaled too, but we're still driving it. <laughs> um, so we're down to one car. Anyway, so, and then he was like, oh, I can't walk up there because it's like 90 degrees, and I have Hannah so would i can't do anything he's like you're gonna have to ask somebody for a jump i have cables in the back and i was like oh this is so embarrassing so i had to walk up to the front i wasn't gonna go to like a customer because i don't know why it just i just felt awkward it was already awkward enough that i had to go up to somebody who worked there and i was like uh, and this is awkward but can't this teenage girl came up to me i was like i need a jump my car died she's like oh i'll pull my car around i'm like oh geez a teenage girl does she know how to do this um so she pulled her car around and this then a, like a teenage boy came up and he was like are you the one that needed a jump and he had like one of those ones that you don't this little like battery thing that you really don't need an, another car for and he tried doing it but it wouldn't start um my car wouldn't start using that and then the girl came with her car and we tried to jump it with mine and it came on automatically well another boy came out and he we, the girl and i were trying to remember if you put the red on red and black on black or you know with the cables and i couldn't remember all of a sudden i just couldn't remember and i was like oh my gosh i can't remember and she we we both couldn't remember and I think we put them on backwards and the boy was like, uh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got it on automatically, but I think I was in so much, like, I was kind of in shock because I had, I think I would have been better if James wasn't there, but he did really good. He didn't complain maybe once or twice because he was worried he, that he wasn't going to be when I was on the phone with David and I said, well, well how am I we're going to get home? And he was like, when am I going to see Hannah and Daddy? Because he thought we weren't going to be able to get home that night. So he he got scared and maybe complained like once or twice. But he was really good the whole time. He hardly complained. Um, it was really, really hot. Like I said, it was like high 90s. But anyway, um, where was it in the story? Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. Um, I think, yeah. I said, I think I was in shock, and I think I would have done better if James wasn't there, because I think I was kind of in mommy mode, but not really, like, get this car mode, <laughs> getting started mode, if that makes any sense. I was just kind of, like, there, and, um, oh, and the teenage girl, she was really nice. They were all really nice, but she was like, okay, turn your car off, and I turned it off, and, and I was like, I should not have turned it off. Cause we got it started and i was like why in the world did, we, did i turn it off now i can't uh, i'm not gonna be able because i tried to turn back on i couldn't get back on i was like why in the world did i turn the car off oh i don't know and then so we tried to start it again and it would not start we probably sat there for an hour i think we did we sat there for an hour to try to get my car started so the first time with the cables it started and after that it took us an hour to get the car started again I was about to just call the police and have them either try to get us started or take James and me home. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. But um, so that was my fun night last night sitting in high 90s with the degree weather trying to get my car started <laughs> at a Sonic parking lot. David said something about like going back to Sonic and I said, I'm not going back to Sonic until those kids graduate high school. <laughs> oh, but so, yeah, that was my night last night. <laughs> uh, so, um, but a lot hadn't happened this morning and I, since I'm not even out of my PJs yet, um, <laughs> David's car, his first car that I ever saw he picked me up on my first date with 
and I, we took James home in the hospital in and what else did we do? Oh, we went home in our, or we went to, on our honeymoon in after our wedding. Um, it's been just sitting in our garage because it needed a new motor or engine because we haven't been able to afford that. And we've just been meaning to donate it, the whole car. It got donated today, which was kind of sad. Isn't it funny how we get attached to material things? I had to remind myself it's not alive, it's just material thing. So, but still it's a little sad. Oh, and also, um, <laughs> we haven't been able to file our taxes. David had to uh, put on a extent or try to get it extended because we don't have Hannah's social security number yet. Um, we've been trying to, well, we went, we went up there a while ago to get her social security number because they never sent it to us. And, th of course, the office is closed. They're like, oh, you have to send all this stuff in. So we called the lady to tell us what we needed to get sent in. So we sent all that stuff in. Well, they just sent it. Well, they said, okay, it's going to take like eight weeks to get it sent back to us. Or to get the social security number back to us. But we just got it back. And, they, and the lady didn't tell us the right stuff. They were. Ugh, it was it was a mess. And then these people weren't telling us the right stuff. So now David was on the phone with another lady. They're all just kind of confused. So we don't have to send it all back in. It's just a mess. This COVID stuff. It's just a mess and everything's open now. You can do everything by appointment it, with government stuff and go in now. Except the Social Security office. You still have to do all that through mail. <laughs> oh, I just keep looking at myself in this. I'm like, man, man <laughs> do not do videos without your makeup on. <laughs> you look horrible. Oh, this video is getting really, really long. And I know you're probably just here for the hauls. So, I'll probably just now go do the hauls. Sorry, this video is so long. Um, go do the hauls and then end this video because my story time just took so long. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. <laughs> Alright, time for the hauls. I'm going to do the Dollar Tree first because it's smaller. Um, I have an activity for James. He has one of these that his grandmother bought bought him but I'm not really sure what it is right now so um I bought him another one and then we got I got him three different water guns because I have another activity we're going to be doing with those and then there's James hi, hi. <laughs> and then I got um one of these crafter square things for an art project and then I also got some ribbon for that too. And <laughs> sorry for my dog. And then James liked these sunglasses with a little, little soccer ball on them. Then here's the Father's Day card for David. That reminds me I need to buy two more of those. Sorry for Hannah crying in the background. James wanted some of these. Yeah, yeah, they were very good. I like them. Those are the original ones. Are those original ones? Oh, they are. The original since 1922. Did you read that? No. How did you know that? <laughs> I just know because it's a good and bad. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, you're smart. Um, but he wanted those. Then I got... And it has some of the fruits in it. It has pineapple and raspberry and strawberry and lemon and orange. That's all. You're so smart, James. And then I got this for a project, art project. Ooh, that's a good present. And then I have this for something we're going to be doing. These uh, tea candles. I got patriotic ones. I didn't really mean to do that, but that's what they had, so I went with it. It's silver, gold, blue, and red. Then I got this decorative nautical rope for a project. And now it's a... Well, it's a rasso. I think it's a rasso. Well, that's not what we're going to use it for, but it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Then I got some glue sticks. I was going to buy myself a new glue gun, but they didn't have one at the Dollar Tree. So I'm either going to have to look for my other one or buy myself one. Um, then I got another photo frame for a art project. And then James got this little uh, bird feeder thing. So he wanted to make a little bird feeder paint one of those. I said that's a cute idea. And then I saw these. I thought this was cute. Um, they're little workbooks. This one's for colors and shapes. And I got a counting one and phonics and, and here's this alphabets. One. And oh, we have alphabets already. Well, no, this well, I was going to show this. These, you know, are a dollar. But I got one of these. I've been That's working, same. Jane's have been working out of this. And uh, it's preschool. And I got this at Mardell's for $13. Yes, it does have like 300 like pages I've in been it. I've been drawing. Yeah, you've been working in this since you were like two. But, yes, it does have like 300 pages in it. <laughs> That's like a page. These it's were only a dollar, and I was like, hey, that, I, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Yeah, pretty good. These are a pretty good deal. And how many pages are on this one? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, well, how many, what, how many numbers is that? What does that say? What's three and two? Um, three and two is 13? <laughs> 32. 32! Yeah. 32! 32! Okay, so. I thought that was a pretty good deal, so. That'd be, yeah, that was a pretty good deal. All right, let's do the Kroger haul. Yeah, Kroger haul, yeah, Kroger haul, yeah. Kroger haul, Kroger haul, we got a Kroger haul. All right, I kind of got to hurry because the baby is free from the back room and she's getting into the dog food and throwing it all on the floor. Mom life. Okay. Oh, and I had to close the room where the cats go potty because she was trying to get in there into the litter boxes. Hold on, I need to go open the door so the cat, the cat can go potty. One second. Um, so my kids have never had this bubble fruit before, and they were on sale. So I was like, hey. Yeah, I don't see that bubble fruit before. So well, it's a perfect time for my kids to try it. So this is a pear berry pomegranate. And I got the sour apple watermelon and peach strawberry lemonade. And then James wanted to try, or he saw these Ritz bits. So um, I got these for him. And then you will see throughout this video that I just kind of, I was actually started out really good. I was like, when I was walking into the store, I was like, I'm not going to buy anything that, that, I, don't, that I don't need. Okay, those red spits. And I ended up buying stuff that I didn't need. <laughs> anyway. Um, but these are my favorite Cheetos, and James and I have been talking about it for a while, because he's been asking me for a while, what's your favorite Cheeto, or what's your favorite chip? And I said, Cheetos. He said, what kind? And I was explaining it to him, and I saw it, so I was like, I really need to get it. And then I saw these Jam and Jim P PB and J's. They're peanut butter filled wafers and raspberry jam. Um, yeah, I like those. They're all mammians. No, huh? No, these are these are ones I thought I never seen them before. So those are mammian ones. That's the boxes. Of no, ones. these are not the mini ones. Those are the Ritz ones. That's the this is, um, I thought looked healthy, somewhat healthy. <laughs> um, James didn't look real excited about it when we were shopping, but I thought it would be a somewhat, it has no artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. So I thought it would be a good snack for the kids. Um, I am making a pasta. You will see later that this pasta, I was looking for a healthy pasta online to make, or actually I was looking for a healthy meal to make um, on Pinterest. And it comes up that it ends up being the TikTok pasta. I had no intention of making the TikTok pasta, but when it looked good. I clicked on it and I started, I started scanning it and I was like, this looks like the TikTok pasta. I started reading through it. 
it is a tactile pasta but I'm gonna try it um, and then here's another thing I don't need almost didn't buy but it was tempting and you'll know if you know me you know like limited edition things I ha I I can't not get limited edition things strawberry sounded good the red velvet ones are probably my favorite but these strawberry ones looks good so I bought them next um, these were on the manager special if you don't know what manager special is at Kroger is like clearance I guess you can say yeah it is clearance um, it was two twenty nine and it's originally four forty nine and it's kind of a four pack good deal and then again I wasn't gonna buy my kids the little bites because you if you watch my hauls you always see me buying the little bites for the kids because they love the little bites. It's not that they don't love it, because they do. But I just get them every, every single week. Sorry for my daughter. Every single week, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna get them something different. But then I saw limited edition. I tried to get these at Kroger a couple weeks ago, and they said they didn't have any. The people who were buying for me on the instant cart said they didn't have any. But here they are. <laughs> so I got them. And I had to get another one because it was buy one, get one free. So I ended up getting another one. <laughs> and these were the banana muffins because my kids haven't had those in a while. Actually, you know what? You know why they, the other store said they might not have had them? Because it was actually a different Kroger. I went to a different Kroger this time. That might be the reason. Maybe they didn't have them at the Instacart place. Next cream or the place the Instacart went. Next is the cream of wheat. I, had, I used to eat this all the time as a kid and I was thinking about getting something else for breakfast and this cream of wheat looked good. Hadn't had it in a long time. It's the maple brown sugar, one of my favorites. So I had to get it. Um, another meal I'm making this week um, called for stir fry sauce and molasses. <laughs> The molasses only calls for like, I think it's only like a tablespoon or it's not, I know it's no more than like a fourth of a cup. So I didn't need all this and I never eat molasses. I've had molasses like one other time in my entire life and I didn't even buy it. And this was like $5. <laughs> they didn't have any other things of molasses there. <laughs> but I had to buy this, so. So I had to get that. Um, then I had to get some sriracha. Then I just got this Prego traditional pasta sauce because it's going to get some noodles and throw this on there for one of the kids' dinners one night. And then I got this manwich because sloppy good, sloppy good, <laughs> sloppy goodness. Sloppy Joe's sounded good when I was walking down the aisle. And so. I guess we're having that for dinner one week. <laughs> but I did forget to buy the meat, so I'm gonna have to buy meat. Um, then I wanted to get, I got this for my cat for treats, because he needed treats when he takes his insulin. And then <laughs> here's another limited edition, summertime limited edition, it's strawberry ice cream cone. Um, wasn't gonna buy this, but it was on it. It was actually, somebody had just thrown it on an end cap. <laughs> It wasn't even where it was supposed to be. All right, while I was there, I had to get some tissue and some Father's Day bags. And then here's some of the tomatoes to go in the TikTok pasta. And James wanted an orange, so he got an orange. And he also wanted some of these chips because he likes to eat chips then day. All right, on to the frozen stuff. The only frozen thing I don't have up here is ice because I already opened the bag of ice and I just don't want ice falling over my cabinet <laughs> or um, counter. All right, the first thing I got here, again, I was looking for something to eat for breakfast. I didn't buy the most healthiest stuff this time around at Kroger. Anyway, 
This French toast bacon sounded really good. Well, it's, it's a new flavor, so of course I had to try it. So this toast of scramble pastry. So I'm gonna good. have to try that too. Yeah, I knew you probably would. And then I got the we always had to get kid fresh, something kid fresh. So this time I got the fish sticks. And then ooh, fish sticks. James wanted some macaroni and cheese, so we got the macaroni and cheese with corn and that's not meatballs. Corn. That's not corn. That's I mean apple and meatballs. Mm -hmm. Those are the cinnamon apples. And I got none with everyone got none with the hammer. Yep, we got two. We James wanted some bagel bites. Yeah, bagel bites. And so the the only other thing that I didn't show you was cat litter. Uh, I actually don't know what I did with the cat litter. It might be in the laundry room where I keep it or. I'm not really sure where it is. David brought it in, I think. So, I don't have that for the haul. But, that is it. Alright, James, what do they do? Do they like this video? Hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, so you never miss any of my videos. But if you didn't miss any of my videos, go and find them. You're so, you're so animated. And I mean, I'm Luca Bean. Do what? I'm Luca Bean, a bean. What does that mean? And then, I don't know. I just made up for the video. Oh, okay. That's great. All right. Say thanks. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> thanks. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm back too. Um, I completely. I was afterwards. I was like, I'm forgetting some stuff. We had to go back out to the car, and I saw that there was still a bag in the car. Um, but I had some. Reynolds kitchen slow cooker liners that I had to get some more of and then I got some More razors. This isn't the kind of razors. I usually get But I just needed some I was in the store and knew and I knew I needed some more razors But I didn't know the refills of the ones I need to get so I just got some of these sensitive Three blade disposal razors so I just I got, got them real quick and then um, I got Hannah some of this Orgel Kids Training Toothpaste. Um, it doesn't have any artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, sugar, and all those things that kids aren't supposed to have. Zero to three, stage two. Oh, it's fluoride free. Even though she is a new pediatrician now and he actually says that she needs a fluoride in her toothpaste but um it still kind of scares me so I go with her old pediatrician we really really liked him um he's go he said that until the age of what was it two no two three now I can't remember what age they're supposed to be when they start uh, when they can spit on their own <laughs> so um I think James just now started using real toothpaste though, and he's four. So that's what we got. And then I forgot to show you the stuff that goes in the refrigerator. So let me get the stuff that goes in the refrigerator real quick. Okay, even though you can't really see them that well because they're in bags, this is everything that was in the refrigerator. Um, we got some broccoli for dinner and some basil. And then here's some ginger. Fresh ginger and some green onion. And here's a zucchini. These are all for dinner. And I only needed two carrots, but James wants it one of the carrots, so we got him a carrot. I don't know what's on that carrot. We'll have to wash that off. Here is a red bell pepper. And of course you need that feta cheese for that TikTok pasta. And then um, my kids have been getting strawberries and blueberries for a long time. So I thought we should change it up. So we got some raspberries. James wanted raspberries. It was in between raspberries and blackberries. And I was like, blackberries are kind of messy. So let's go with raspberries. And then of course I got Hannah her um, whole milk. So. That should be all of it. I, I can give me some milk. You 
drink 2% like the rest of us. Like mommy and daddy. Okay, I don't think I forgot anything else. But if you did, we did. You got the majority of it. <laughs> what are you doing? I like my mail. Okay, now you can tell them goodbye. Alright? Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.